The Pala Empire was an imperial power during the late classical period on the Indian subcontinent, which originated in the region of Bengal. It is named after its ruling dynasty, whose rulers bore names ending with the suffix of Pala, which meant protector in the ancient language of Prakrit. They were followers of the Mahayana and Tantric schools of Buddhism. The empire was founded with the election of Gopala as the emperor of Gorda in 750. The Pala stronghold was located in Bengal and Bihar, which included the major cities of Pataliputra, Vikrampura, Ramvati, Munga, Tamralipta and Jagadala. The palace were astute diplomats and military conquerors. Their army was noted for its vast war elephant cavalry. Their navy performed both mercantile and defensive roles in the Bay of Bengal. The palace were important promoters of classical Indian philosophy, literature, painting and sculpture. They built grand temples and monasteries, including the Somapura Mahavihara, and patronized the great universities of Nalanda and Vikramashila. The Proto-Bengali language developed under Pala rule. The empire enjoyed relations with the Srivijaya Empire, the Tibetan Empire and the Arab Abbasid Caliphate. Islam first appeared in Bengal during Pala rule, as a result of increased trade between Bengal and the Middle East. The House of Wisdom in Baghdad absorbed the mathematical and astronomical achievements of Indian civilization during this period. At its height in the early 9th century, the Pala Empire was the dominant power in the northern subcontinent, with its territory stretching across parts of modern-day eastern Pakistan, northern and northeastern India, Nepal and Bangladesh. The empire reached its peak under emperors Dharmapala and Avarpala. The palace also exerted a strong cultural influence under Atiza in Tibet, as well as in Southeast Asia. Pala control of North India was ultimately ephemeral, as they struggled with the Gurjara Pratiharas and the Rashtrakutas for the control of Kanayu and were defeated. After a short-lived decline, Emperor Mahipala I defended imperial bastions in Bengal and Bihar against South Indian Chola invasions. Emperor Ramapala was the last strong Pala ruler, who gained control of Kamarupa and Kalinga. The empire was considerably weakened by the 11th century, with many areas engulfed in rebellion. The resurgent Hindu Sena dynasty dethroned the Pala Empire in the 12th century, ending the reign of the last major Buddhist imperial power in the subcontinent. The Pala period is considered as a golden era of pre-Islamic Bengali history. The palace brought stability and prosperity to Bengal after centuries of civil war between warring divisions. They advanced the achievements of previous Bengali civilizations and created outstanding works of art and architecture. They laid the basis for the Bengali language, including its first literary work, the Chayapada. The Pala legacy is still reflected in Tibetan Buddhism. History Origins According to the Kalimpur Copper Plate Inscription, the first Pala King Gopala was the son of a warrior named Vaputa. The remark Charitam attests that Varendra was the fatherland of the palace. The Balalakarita states that the palace were Shitrayas, a claim reiterated by Taranatha in his History of Buddhism in India as well as Ganaram Chakrabarti in his Dharma Mangala. The remark Charitam also attests the 15th Pala Emperor, Ramapala, as a Kshatriya. The Kamali copper plate inscription of King Vaidya Deva of Kumarupa connects the palace to the Kshatriyas of Mahirishi of Amza. However, such claims of belonging to the mythical Solar dynasty are unreliable and clearly appear to be an attempt to cover up the humble origins of the dynasty. The Pala dynasty has also been branded as Udra in some sources, this might be because of their Buddhist leanings. According to Abul Fazal ibn Mubarak, the palace were Kyasthas. There are even accounts that claim Gopala may have been from a Brahmin lineage. Establishment after the fall of Shashanka's kingdom, the Bengal region was in a state of anarchy. There was no central authority, and there was constant struggle between petty chieftains. The contemporary writings describe this situation as Matsya Nyaya. 
Gopala ascended the throne as the first Pala king during these times. The Kalimpur copper plate suggests that the Prakriti of the region made him the king. Taranatha, writing nearly 800 years later, also writes that he was democratically elected by the people of Bengal. However, his account is in form of a legend, and is considered historically unreliable. The legend mentions that after a period of anarchy, the people elected several kings in succession, all of whom were consumed by the Naga queen of an earlier king on the night following their election. Gopal, however, managed to kill the queen and remained on the throne. The historical evidence indicates that Gopala was not elected directly by his citizens, but by a group of feudal chieftains. Such elections were quite common in contemporary societies of the region. Gopala's ascension was a significant political event as the several independent chiefs recognized his political authority without any struggle. Expansion under Dharmapala and Avarpala Gopala's empire was greatly expanded by his son Dharmapala and his grandson Devarpala. Dharmapala was initially defeated by the Pratihara ruler Vatsaraja. Later, the Rashtrakuta king Dhruva defeated both Dharmapala and Vatsaraja. After Dhruva left for the Deccan region, Dharmapala built a mighty empire in the northern India. He defeated Indraya of Kanayu, and installed his own nominee Chakrayuda on the throne of Kanayu. Several other smaller states in North India also acknowledged his suzerainty. Soon, his expansion was checked by Vatsaraja's son Nagabhata II, who conquered Kanayu and drove away Chakrayuda. Nagabhata II then advanced up to Mungna and defeated Dharmapala in a pitched battle. Dharmapala was forced to surrender and to seek alliance with the Rashtrakuta Emperor Govinda III who then intervened by invading northern India and defeating Nagabhata II. The Rashtrakuta records show that both Chakrayuda and Dharmapala recognized the Rashtrakuta suzerainty. In practice, Dharmapala gained control over north India after Govinda III left for the Deccan. He adopted the title Paramasvera Paramabhataraka Maharaja Daraja. Dharmapala was succeeded by his son Devarpala, who is regarded as the most powerful Pala ruler. His expeditions resulted in the invasion of Pragyotisha where the king submitted without giving a fight and the Utkala whose king fled from his capital city. The inscriptions of his successes also claim several other territorial conquests by him, but these are highly exaggerated. First period of decline following the death of Devarpala, the Pala Empire gradually started disintegrating. Vigraha who was Devapala's nephew, abdicated the throne after a brief rule, and became an ascetic. Vigraharpala's son and successor Narajana Pala proved to be a weak ruler. During his reign, the Rashtrakuta king Amor Gavasha defeated the palace. Encouraged by the Pala decline, the king Hajera of Assam assumed imperial titles and the Sailadvavas established their power in Ariso. Nayanapala's son Radhapala ruled for at least 12 years, and constructed several public utilities and lofty temples. His son Gopala II lost Bengal after a few years of rule, and then ruled only Bihar. The next king, Vigraharpala II, had to bear the invasions from the Chandilas and the Kalashoras. During his reign, the Pala Empire disintegrated into smaller kingdoms like Gorda, Radha, Anga and Vanga. Kantidavar of Hari Kala also assumed the title Maharaja Daraja, and established a separate kingdom, later ruled by the Chandra dynasty. The Gorda state was ruled by the Kamboya Pala dynasty. The rulers of this dynasty also bore names ending in the suffix Pala. However, their origin is uncertain, and the most plausible view is that they originated from a Pala official who usurped a major part of the Pala kingdom along with its capital. Revival under Mahipala the first Mahipala the first recovered northern and eastern Bengal within three years of ascending the throne in 988 CE. 
He also recovered the northern part of the present-day Birdwin division. During his reign, Rajendra Chola I of the Chola Empire frequently invaded Bengal from 1021 to 1023 CE in order to get Ganges water and in the process succeeded to humble the rulers, acquiring considerable booty. The rulers of Bengal who were defeated by Rajendra Chola were Dharmapal, Ranasur and Govinda Chandra, who might have been feudatories under Mahipala I of the Pala dynasty. Rajendra Chola I also defeated Mahipala, and obtained from the Pala king, elephants of rare strength, women and treasure. Mahipala also gained control of North and South Bihar, probably aided by the invasions of Mahmud of Ghazni, which exhausted the strength of other rulers of North India. He may have also conquered Varanasi and surrounding area as his brothers Stirapala and Vasantapala undertook construction and repairs of several sacred structures at Varanasi. Later, the Kalashuri king Gangayadeva annexed Varanasi after defeating the ruler of Anga, which could have been Mahipala I. Second period of decline Nayapala, the son of Mahipala I, defeated the Kalashuri king Karna after a long struggle. The two later signed a peace treaty at the mediation of the Buddhist scholar Atiza. During the reign of Nayapala's son Vigrahapala III, Karna once again invaded Bengal but was defeated. The conflict ended with a peace treaty, and Vigrahapala III married Karna's daughter Yovanasre. Vigrahapala III was later defeated by the invading Chalukya king Vikramaditya VI. The invasion of Vikramaditya VI saw several soldiers from South India into Bengal, which explains the southern origin of the senior dynasty. Vigrahapala III also faced another invasion led by the Somavamsi king Mahashivagupta Yayati of Ariso. Subsequently, a series of invasions considerably reduced the power of the palace. The Varmins occupied eastern Bengal during his reign. Mahipala II, the successor of Vigrahapala III, brought a short-lived reign of military glory. His reign is well documented by Sandhyaka Nandi in Ramacharitam. Mahipala II imprisoned his brothers Ramapala and Sarapala II on the suspicion that they were conspiring against him. Soon afterwards, he faced a rebellion of vassal chiefs from the Kaibata. A chief named Devia killed him and occupied the Varandra region. The region remained under the control of his successors Rudik and Bhima. Sarapala II escaped to Magadha and died after a short reign. He was succeeded by his brother Ramapala, who launched a major offensive against Divya's grandson Bhima. He was supported by his maternal uncle Matana of the Rashtrakuta dynasty, as well as several feudatory chiefs of South Bihar and Southwest Bengal. Ramapala conclusively defeated Bhima, and killing him and his family in a cruel manner. Revival under Ramapala after gaining control of Arendra, Ramapala tried to revive the Pala Empire with limited success. He ruled from a new capital at Ramavati, which remained the Pala capital until the dynasty's end. He reduced taxation, promoted cultivation and constructed public utilities. He brought Kamarupa and Rara under his control, and forced the Valman king of East Bengal to accept his suzerainty. He also struggled with the Ganga king for control of present-day Arisa. The Gangas managed to annex the region only after his death. Ramapala maintained friendly relations with the Chola king Kulatunga to secure support against the common enemies, the Ganas and the Chalukyas. He kept the Senis in check, but lost Mithila to a Karnataka chief named Nanyadeva. He also held back the aggressive design of the Gahadavala ruler Govinda Chandri through a matrimonial alliance. Final decline Ramapala was the last strong Pala ruler. After his death, a rebellion broke out in Assam during his son Kumarapala's reign. The rebellion was crushed by Vaidyadeva, but after Kumarapala's death, Vaidyadeva practically created a separate kingdom. According to Ramacharitam, Kumarapala's son Gopala III was murdered by his uncle Mandapala. 
During Madanapala's rule, the Varmans in East Bengal declared independence, and the Eastern Ganges renewed the conflict in Ariso. Madanapala captured Mungtha from the Gahadavalas but was defeated by Vijayasena, who gained control of southern and eastern Bengal. A ruler named Govindapala ruled over the Gaya district around 1162 CE. But there is no concrete evidence about his relationship to the imperial palace. The Pala dynasty was replaced by the Sena dynasty. Geography The borders of the Pala Empire kept fluctuating throughout its existence. Though the palace conquered a vast region in North India at one time, they could not retain it for long due to constant hostility from the Gurjara Pratiharas, the Rashtrakutas and other less powerful kings. No records are available about the exact boundaries of original kingdom established by Gopala, but it might have included almost all of the Bengal region. The Pala Empire extended substantially under Dharmapala's rule. Apart from Bengal, he directly ruled the present-day Bihar. The kingdom of Kanayu was a Pala dependency at times, ruled by his nominee Chakrayuda. While installing his nominee on the Kanayu throne, Dharmapala organized an imperial court. According to the Kalimpur copper plate issued by Dharmapala, this court was attended by the rulers of Boja, Matsya, Madra, Kuru, Yadu, Javana, Ivanti, Gandhara and Kira. These kings accepted the installation of Chakrayuda on the Kana U throne, while bowing down respectfully with their diadems trembling. This indicates that his position as a sovereign was accepted by most rulers. Although this was a loose arrangement unlike the empire of the Mauryas or the Guptas, the other rulers acknowledged the military and political supremacy of Dharmapala, but maintained their own territories. The poet Sodala of Gujarat calls Dharmapala an Uttarapathas Vameen for his suzerainty over North India. The epigraphic records credit Devapala with extensive conquests in hyperbolic language. The Badal Pillar inscription of his successor Narayanapala states that by the wise counsel and policy of his Brahman minister Darbapani, Devapala became the suzerain monarch or Chakravati of the whole tract of northern India bounded by the Vindyas and the Himalayas. It also states that his empire extended up to the two oceans. It also claims that Devpala defeated Utkala, the Hunas, the Kambojas, the Dravidas, the Kamarupa, and the Gurjaris. The Gurjara adversary may have been Mahira Boja, whose eastward expansion was checked by Devapala. The identity of the Huna king is uncertain. The identity of the Kamboya prince is also uncertain. Kamboya, in this inscription, could refer to the Kamboya tribe that had entered North India. The Dravida king is usually identified with the Rashtrakuta king Amor Gavasha. Some scholars believe that the Dravida king could have been the Pandya ruler Sri Mara Sri Vallabhar. Since Dravida usually refers to the territory south of the Krishna river, according to this theory, Devapali could have been helped in his southern expedition by the Chandela king Vijaya. In any case, Devapala's gains in the south, if any, were temporary. The claims about Devapala's victories are exaggerated, but cannot be dismissed entirely. There is no reason to doubt his conquest of Utkala and Kamarupa. Besides, the neighboring kingdoms of Rashtrakutas and the Gurjara Pratiharas were weak at the time, which might have helped to him extend his empire. Devapala is also believed to have led an army up to the Indus River in Punjab. The empire started disintegrated after the death of Devapala, and his successor Narajanapala lost control of Assam and Orissa. He also briefly lost control over Magadha and North Bengal. Gopala II lost control of Bengal and ruled only from a part of Bihar. The Pala Empire disintegrated into smaller kingdoms during the reign of Igrahapala II. Mahipala recovered parts of Bengal and Bihar. His successes lost Bengal again. The last strong Pala ruler, Ramapala, gained control of Bengal, Bihar, Assam and parts of Ariso. By the time of Madanapala's death, the Pala kingdom was confined to parts of central and east Bihar along with northern Bengal. Administration 
The Pala rule was monarchical. The king was the center of all power. Pala kings would adopt imperial titles like Parameshwara, Paramvatarika, Maharaja Raja. Pala kings appointed prime ministers. The line of Gaga served as the prime ministers of the palace for 100 years. Gaga, Darvapana, Sumshwa, Kada Misra, Batagura of Misra. Pala Empire was divided into separate Bukhtais. Bukhtais were divided into Vishayas and Mandalas. Smaller units were Kandala, Baga, Avati, Chaturika, and Pataka. Administration covered widespread area from the grassroots level to the imperial court. The Pala copper plates mentioned following administrative posts. Raja, Rajanyaka, Ranaka, Samanta and Mahasamanta, Mahasandi Vagrahika, Duta, Rajasthania, Agariksa, Saspadikta, Chorodaranaka, Shorkaka, Dasharparadaka, Tarika, Mahaksapitalika, Jasthakayastha, Kays Trapper and Pramat, Mahadan Danayaka or Dharmadakara, Mahapratihara, Dandika, Dandapashika, Dandashakti, Kola, agricultural posts like Gavadakshya, Chogadyakshya, Meshajikshya, Mahishajikshya and many other like Vogpati, Vishayapati, Shashdadakruta, Dorshashadanika, Nakadyakshya, 